Hey everybody, Steph Beckett here at the I, at ISC 2022 here at the Epson stand, and I'm here with Mark Roslin. How's it going? Doing very well, thank you. Y'all have had a quite a busy stand, so it has been quite a busy first day of the show. So how does it feel to be back in person at a real, actual trade show? It's very exciting. It's actually my first time at ISC, um, having taken over the business during COVID. Uh, so it's it's really great to see not only the products and the displays, but also the interaction with customers and, and showgoers. So it's fantastic. Yeah. It's, you it's can't totally beat the face-to-face -face interaction at all. No, absolutely not. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are showing and, and what's new this year. I mean, you know, what's new, like there's plenty new since COVID, but y'all are showing a, a new product yep. and you are, you know, encouraging just like a lot of different installations for that one product, which is really, really cool. So tell me a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. In general, we're seeing a, a huge swell of interest in projection and uh, technology and an opportunity for that uh, across a different a wide range of applications. Um, so the product that we're showcasing and launching at this, this show is a 20,000 lumen, um, super bright, super small light projector. Uh, that's the smallest and lightest in its class. Uh, so it's very exciting for rental and staging applications where we're seeing a big increase in activity with shows coming back online, uh, both here in Europe but also in, in the Americas. So it's a very exciting time for industry that was very hard impacted. Uh, but beyond that, that kind of rail and staging, moving production uh, type of uh, installation projectors, we're seeing a lot of activity in uh, fixed install exhibitions like art museums, galleries, migrating more to a more immersive kind of experience where it's mixed media and things like that of that nature where you're seeing projection being applied to create really amazing experiences. Uh, and beyond that, there's a lot of activity in corporate, with hybrid collaboration and the need for large displays that are flexible, wide aspect ratio where you can accommodate all the content that is needs to be shared and, and shown. Um, and, and even in the home where um, ultra short throw laser TV projector projection TV is starting to gain a lot of traction. It's the fastest growing category in, in home displays. Um, and it's a way to bring in that large screen experience into your living room because now the projectors are pumping out enough light to overcome any ambient. Um, so it's really it's really transformative time for projection. A lot of exposure and a lot of excitement across all of these different um, uh, use cases. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted to talk about this trend because this this really small, really beautiful projector that y'all are releasing at this show. You, I wanted to reiterate that this is for a rental and staging application or for a stationary application, which is really great. So is this like more of a trend where we are developing one product that can be used in multiple verticals, multiple use cases? Is this something that we'll continue to see in the industry? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously the projectors are very broadly applicable technology and in this particular case, we spent a lot of time researching and talking to customers to understand their needs. So in terms of the rental and staging requirements, we really delve deep into what it takes to be successful in that segment. And it's things like serviceability, the size and weight bears a huge uh, implications because you have to haul this stuff around. And if it's half as heavy and a 60% smaller, you can fit a lot more projectors and ship them around the country a lot more easily. But that also translates very well to for fixed installation because now you can get 20,000 lumens of light output from a very small chassis that can be very discreetly mounted in a fixed installation so that you're showcasing the display and the content rather than you know worrying about looking at the machine that's creating that experience. So the benefits that we deliver to one market translate uh, into others uh, just as well. So it's a very exciting time and it's uh, that product is a testament to Epson's kind of core DNA of continuing to innovate and um, um, improve the performance and also uh, driving small, compact and precise technology. I would also say there's a trend within Epson of really working to make sure things are easy to use and easy to install as well. So there's an equal kind of idea of making it easy on the integrators and easy on the end users as well. So it, will we continue seeing that kind of trend of if manufacturers really, really taking time to understand what end users and integrators need and want to be able to, you know, for integrators it's all about making money, what's going to take the less time, but yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. That's our core philosophy is we, we do a lot to innovate on the hardware, but we're also looking to innovate on the experience, both the user experience, but also the integrator experience and, and how easy is it to work with our products to create really amazing experiences. So what you see behind me is just an example of that. And we actually have three stations here highlighting that, the ease of use, where we're uh, equipping our projectors with cameras um, and other technology and software tools that allow you to easily stack the images on top of each other. Something that took 30, 40 minutes before by a trained technician can now be accomplished automatically within two to three minutes. Uh, with two projectors just stacking on top of each other or tiling them together to create a very large image. So all of these developments are oriented around making the installer's life easier um, the first time and then to support m regular upkeep of the of the installation because as you know you know things happen over time and you want to maintain the great uh, image quality and the, the experience throughout the lifetime of the projector and these kind of tools are really designed to enable that uh, and make that much easier. Well and taking that time and doing that research and developing a product or products based off of that research is how you become a household name. Right. So that is kind of the story of how Epson has become like the name synonymous with projector. Yeah absolutely we're uh, world's number one uh, projector brand. Um, I think the stat is four out of ten projectors globally are Epson and then in the Americas we're uh, we operate uh, it's six out of ten so yes we are the uh, preeminent manufacturer of projection technology and a lot of that has to do with our just constant diligent pursuit of uh, optimize and improve performance and innovation in the product is there anything else you want to mention for the folks at home who couldn't make it to ISE this year no we, we uh, we're sorry to miss you uh, we'd love we we'll have, would have loved to see you here at the show it's uh, it's really exciting to interact with folks in person uh, but if you miss ISE, there's also Infocom just around the corner and we will be there with uh, a lot of uh, similar uh, solutions displayed. So it's another opportunity to interact with us and see our products in action. And where can people go to find more information? Uh, Epson.com is a great place to start. Well, thank you so much, Mark. It was great catching up with you and great to meet you finally in person. Likewise. Thank you so much. And for more information on RN, don't forget you can go to ravepubs.com forward slash ISE 2022 for all your ISE coverage. We'll see you next time. Bye.